My friends and I came to Vegas to celebrate my 21st birthday. We decided to go to the last night of Row 91. When the shots went off, we didn't really know what to expect. We thought it was like stage pyrotechnics. I looked around and saw people getting hurt. We tried to help people as we could. And then uh, before I knew it, I actually got shot myself twice. Once through the arm and then once in the abdomen. When I kind of collapsed, I could have swore that was it, staring at the Vegas guy. And then I see a guy run by, extend my hand and say, please help me. And then he dragged me away and he threw me in a truck bed, sent me to Desert Springs. Somebody kept phoning her phone, it was Sheldon's friend Liam, and he said, I don't know if you're watching the news, but uh, we're at a, at a concert in Vegas, and he said that Sheldon's been shot, and I'm coming down the hall with the phone in my hand, and Patty's like, what, what? And I and said, hey, he's been shot. He's been, he's shot. been shot. That started the longest night of our lives. On the night of the shooting, I happened to be on call at Desert Springs. When I got here, there was chaos and mayhem, but the ER staff, the mobilization of the operating room team, and the ancillary staff was excellent. Sheldon had a gunshot wound to his abdomen, so we knew immediately at that point he would have to go to the OR. We were beside ourselves because we were phoning every hospital one after another. And when I finally called Desert Springs, I said, you have to help me. I said, we can't find my son. She said, we have him. They put us through and they said, well, he's in ICU. Uh, the abdominal surgery went well. And we're like, abdominal surgery? He was in the operating room for 45 minutes to an hour, and then he went over to the ICU after that for monitoring. But he was alive. We, we were so relieved to, to know that he had survived, uh, not knowing how badly wounded he was. And they actually they they put the phone, they, took, they took the, the phone, phone to him. him. I said, Sheldon, oh my God, how are you? He goes, well, I feel like I've been shot. And it was kind of like, oh, he's our yeah, shell, he's yeah. okay. And what kind of relief that was, I can't even describe to talk to him. And then we got there and um, immediately, uh, the, the staff, from the CEO to the medical staff and the administrative staff at Desert Springs were so kind to us. Desert Springs was so good to us and so kind. We had the best of care and around the clock care and every level of care at the hospital, that's for sure, or he wouldn't be here. Ten minutes later, I'm feeling good. Feels good getting back to normal life, living my life again. Yeah, thankful every day. Out of something as terrible as this, you realize what good there is in the world too. And, and for us, it was the, the hospital staff and, and, and the medical staff and, and the community in Las Vegas uh, that, that came together and, and was so supportive. We are um, so grateful. Yeah, they saved him.